Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if I sound a little groggy, that's because I pretty much just rolled out of bed. <laughs> and I have basically second day makeup on that's a little touched up. I'm not feeling the cutest, but it's okay. I just wanted to hurry and get this up. My husband's gonna help me in my nail polish room today. He's gonna help me build some more shelves in my closet. If you've seen my nail polish storage video, you've seen that I have shelves on one side and it's full of polish and I love to be able to see and display it that way. And I wanna do the same thing to the other side so I can have all the brands out so I can see them and really excited because I just need to get a little more organized and it'll just make things a lot more visible and easier to grab comparisons. So I get asked a lot by several people why I have so many polishes. I'm never going to get through them. And of course, yes, I'm never going to get through all these, but I keep them for you guys so I can do comparisons. So it can get a little bit overwhelming. I just want to have them so I can do comparisons. So you guys can decide if you want to get polishes or not. So anyway, never thought I'd be that person that like hoards nail polish, but yeah, I kind of am but it's okay, it's for a good reason. <laughs> okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking about the China Glaze Valentine's Day collection for 2024, and this one's really fun. I think if you like glitters, you're gonna like some of these, and if you like creams, you're gonna like some. Some I feel like are a little similar to things that we've seen before, but that is a good thing, at least in one instance. I think they're really fun for Valentine's Day. I will link down my shirt. I don't have lipstick, I don't have polish on my nails. <laughs> And if this necklace is still available, I'm gonna link it. It's so cute. I got it at Target, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's a tiny little heart, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put that on for Valentine's Day. So cute. First up is Sweet Cheeks. It is a beautiful, bright, soft pink, and it is a little bit warmer. It is a little bit chalky. Sometimes these polishes that are really bright and our pastels are really chalky. I think that's a good way to explain it, but it does make it so they are a little bit more patchy on application. So I definitely feel like you need three coats for this one. One. It's well worth it in my opinion. If you do not like three coaters or that type of formula, you probably won't like this one. But I find the color to be so fun and bright and I just love it, especially this time of year. Soft pinks are colors that I really reach for because I'm looking for something to kind of lift my spirits in this dreary winter. This one definitely gave me flashbacks of the spring collection and that spring collection was amazing. You guys know at the end of the year, I posted my top 10 polishes for the year for 2023. I made a video for that. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. And a lot of those polishes were in there. I could have put that whole collection in there and it's hard to find now because it's sold out and they were just so amazing. So I'm definitely gonna show you comparisons for that one. So let's look at those. Okay, so I compared it to Here for Candy and that one's much more cool toned. This was my number five spot in my top 10 and oh, it is so good, you guys, as you can see in the color there. And the formula is a little bit different. So it's a little bit more normal, shiny, glossy nail polish formula instead of more of the kind of chalky and a little bit harder to work with. So Here for Candy, you can get opaque in probably two, possibly three coats, but for sure, I think you're gonna need three coats with Sweet Cheeks. The new pink, from Wonka. I'll put the name here. I did not get to reviewing that collection. Let me know if you guys want to do that. It was the last holiday collection that was left on my shelf and I didn't get to it. But anyway, this pink was probably my favorite out of it. But that one's cool toned and a little bit softer and more muted. And then Kit in a Candy Store is a bright pink and it's darker. Okay, in a second comparison, I thought I'd get asked about Mod About You and that one's cooler toned and lighter. And then Munchy Munchy. That one has a curly formula and it's more muted. And then Fiji is the closest that I could find it similar tone. I do feel like that one with the new brush is a little bit better than Sweet Cheeks, but I feel like Sweet Cheeks is just a little bit brighter, so they are a little bit different. So anyway, those are the comparisons. I'll let you decide if you want to get that one, but I think this one's nice. I like that it's a little bit warmer. And then we have Ruler of Hearts, and this is a nice heart confetti polish in a clear jelly base. I like this one a lot. It has pink and red in it. The pink are more matte, and the red are more shiny and shimmery. And then actually, it does, I remember now when I applied it, have just a few sporadic glitter particles in there, which I thought was really nice but I have to say when applying this I think it's best to kind of get your brush and purposefully select hearts in there and just tap them on your nail where you want them to be um, but I was able to put this on top of Sweet Cheeks so you guys could see it but I think it's beautiful and I didn't really have anything co to compare it to. Alvin June came out with one of these I believe last year and it just had the pink matte hearts and that one was really pretty too but this one has the pink and the red so I think that makes it pretty fun. And then we have XOXO and China Glaze does a really great job 
shop with these neon polishes. They're one of my favorite brands for neons. And this is a beautiful bright kind of neon pink. It's a little mid-toned and it has that same kind of chalkyish formula. This polish dries kind of matte or I guess I would say semi-matte. I think this is going to be opaque into most likely three coats just because of that formula. You might see just some darker nail underneath and it might be a little patchy in spots so you might need three on this one. Let's see how it compares to other neons that I have and that I thought of. I pulled out Cirque Colors Shopaholic. I think you can go on their website right now and vote for polishes for them to bring back and this is a really good one and I was surprised how much lighter it was than this one. XOXO as you can see there is more mid-tone compared to these because Spin Me Around, one of my favorite neons. Oh so good. It's darker and cooler toned. Guava Mama, darker and more pink and also has a touch of red in it so that one's different too. So I don't have all the China Glaze polishes. I don't have a ton and so they might have something similar and I just don't have it but I feel like this is a good mid-tone bright neon pink. This next one is Read My Lips. This bright red with a touch of orange and it has more of a curly formula. It does dry matte. You're going to be able to get this opaque in two coats which I found very nice. It has a really nice formula and I do love these kind of polishes this time of year too. Just kind of a bright pop in the winter and so this is a fun one to pull out. I do have other polishes similar to this that I will compare that I thought you would be curious about. Okay, so I compared it to Lacquered Up and that one's more red and then I compared it to Olive and June Larchmont. I was going to pull out Lava and I did actually and that one's quite a bit more orange so it was closer to Larchmont and that one's more coral but it is close and then SE22 Hot and that one's close too but they all are just slightly different so it's that similar kind of tone. Personally I prefer to wear these glossy so any of the ones that are matte I'm showing you matte and then the glossy top coat on top. I just think especially with these bright reds I like them kind of juicy and glossy and so that's just what I prefer but it's kind of fun to have them matte. Anyway I really like this one and I find myself craving these types of reds about January, February. And then we have Too Hot to Handle and it's this red base and it has this goldeny shimmer in it. They're pretty fine shimmer particles. It's beautiful. I don't reach for these types of colors very often but it's got a beautiful for me. It's going to be opaque. I was so close to one coat but I would definitely do two to just build it up and make it a little more glittery and shiny. But let's get into the comparisons because China Glaze has a few polishes like this one. They are all a little different as you can see so I compared it to Yule Jewels and Heart and Console from OPI and Santa Monica Claws. Santa Monica Claws was the closest uh, but it's a little more pink leaning which I tend to prefer against my skin tone so I did like that one better than this one um, but if you love these kind of orangey reds I think you're really gonna like this one. Then we have this bright glittery red and this one's called Eat Your Heart Out. It surprised me it has a little bit of a raspberry leaning base and I actually prefer that and then it has these bright red glitters that make it look more of like a warmer red but I like the cherry base. So this one has a nice formula too. It pretty much opaque in one coat but I like to build them up for two to get more sparkle. I do not have ruby pumps and that's a really popular china glaze red one. I don't know if it's popular anymore but it was popular back in the day and I really wanted it but I have never picked it up. Only time I'd probably wear it is Christmas or Valentine's Day but it's kind of fun to have polishes like that. So I don't know how this compares. So if someone has that one and knows comment down below and let us know because I would really like to know how it compares. So I compared it to only one other one and it's called Deadly Desire and that one's not not as dark and it doesn't have big chunky glitter pieces like this newer one does. They're different. That's the only one I have. Like I said, I don't have a lot of polishes like this and so I didn't have too much to compare. Okay, I think out of all of these, I am going to only pick one favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I don't think I'll use any of these. I do think this one's really fun though. I think as far as this one goes, I might prefer Olive in June Large Mod because I do feel like that's going to last a little bit longer than this one. I should maybe do a wear test. I never have time for that, but... So I'm not sure, but I did like the color of this one and I did find myself wanting to put this on and reach for it. So that one's good too. Okay, so let's just do these three because I do like this one a lot. I'll have to see how it wears. And then this heart one is really fun, especially for Valentine's Day, of course. And then I like this bright one. I think China Glaze is doing such a good job with these bright colors and I like that this one's a little bit warmer. So this is definitely my favorite out of all of them. I think if you like this one, get it because like I said, it'll probably be gone. So thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys being here and supporting me. Hit that like button on the way out and subscribe if you haven't because I'd love to have you join me. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.